Hello guys, Softoni here. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video tutorial and in today's lesson we are going to create abstract background with awesome typography, something like this. Alright, here we are in After Effects 2021 and first of all, like always, uh, we we're going to create uh, four new composition. Uh, for this first composition we will call it main comp with 9020 by 1080, 30 frames per second, 5 second duration. And then hit OK. Uh, next thing what we're gonna do uh, is to create uh, another composition, we will call it points plus animation, also 1920 by 1080, uh, 30 frames per second, and duration 5 seconds long, hit OK, and also we have forgotten here main comp okay uh, next thing what we're gonna do is to create uh, two text composition text 01 and we will do it 900 by 100 also 30 frames per second and five seconds long hit okay then control plus d on your keyboard to duplicate uh, so we also have here text 02 all right, uh, next thing what we're gonna do, go here in points plus animation, right click and then create a new solid layer and we will name it uh, balls, okay. Also 1920 by 1080 and then hit okay. Uh, next thing what we're gonna do is to import uh, uh, our first effect, it will be starburst. Okay, just double click or drag and drop here on this balls composition. For scatter we will do zero, speed also zero, and grid spacing and size go 20. Okay, and we will get something like this, something like a grid. All right, next thing what we're gonna do is to create adjustment layer, hit right click on your keyboard, uh, on your um, mouse, and then go new, uh, and then shape layer okay we will name it fractal noise and our next effect will be fractal noise all right uh, we need to make some adjustment here in fractal noise uh, for contrast go maybe 400 and for brightness go around 40 okay complexity we will leave it to 6 and next thing what we're gonna do is to animate this evolution so uh, we can see this uh, uh, wavy little back background okay hold alt on your keyboard and then uh, left click on your mouse and type here time asterisk 250 all right Close it here and then when you hit zero, we will get something like this. All right, uh, next thing what we're gonna do is to import our points plus uh, animation here in our uh, main composition and also we will add some text. Uh, go here in this uh, text01 composition, control plus T and then type uh, creative. I will do just random text just for tutorial purpose, but also you can, of course, type your own text. Go here, align, uh, hit here and here. If you can't find align, go window and then uh, click here to find this align panel. Okay, when, when you're ready with this, also I have forgotten to tell you that I'm using this uh, sign font from fontsquirrel.com. And uh, next thing what we're going to do is to drag and drop this text 01 here in our main composition. Uh, one thing we have forgotten to do is to create a background because this is uh, transparent. Uh, we will do right click and then new, um, a new solid layer. We will call it background and also 1920 by uh, 1080 and uh, move it to the um, all to down just uh, also 
in effects and preset uh, hit ramp effect and then just drag and drop on this background for this uh, gradient ramp hit here on background start of ramp choose uh, something like this end of ramp something like this and we will do maybe a uh, blue color with purple uh, other side of the color something like this first color and then second color here as you can see our background lo is looking very nice okay uh, next thing what we're gonna do uh, is to add a little bit of drop shadow here on this uh, text um, composition it here and then type drop drop shadow double click duplicate this uh, drop shadow um, effect hit here and distance 10 and softness 20. all right as you can see our text is looking really really nice all right uh, next thing what we're gonna do uh, is to add another effect here on text type here in effects and preset um, motion tile double click here on text 01 and for output height go maybe around uh, three three thousand something like this okay you can rotate if you want hit r on your keyboard 45 you can find rotation also here in transform but if you hit r you will automatically see this rotation panel all right it's now it's time to uh, maybe animate this tile center go around five seconds hit this to tile center stopwatch and then move here to zero and maybe go around i don't know 800 you can play around with these numbers and then when you hit zero you will get this nice movement like like so okay also you can scale this text down if you want maybe around 80 percent hit here and then move it to the left also what you can do is to control plus d to duplicate this text then grab it here and move it to the right and when you hit zero on your keyboard you will get this nice movement this awesome movement okay also we can draw a line here in our center of this uh, composition and to add some colors to our text um, for this uh, for this text uh, composition we will also add a uh, ramp effect something like this um, go here go here and uh, for this uh, start of ramp uh, something like this also here and then change colors according your needs also some blue colors you can also use eyedropper tool if you want find your suitable color something like maybe like this okay this maybe something here also Control plus C and then uh, Control plus V on your keyboard to duplicate this uh, ramp effect on this other text, something like this. And also we can change our colors here in gradient ramp. Go here to swap our colors for this first color. We will choose something like this. Hit OK when you're satisfied with your colors. Also maybe to change this second one something like this okay and when you're satisfied just hit here again okay all right next thing what we're gonna do is to import our text o2 I go double click here and then Control plus t and type here graphics i will just this random type this random text for this video tutorial go in this align panel and then align it here and also next thing what we're gonna do is to um, uh, drag and drop this uh, text 02 on on top of this text 01 hold alt on your keyboard and just drag and drop so our second text has been already applied all right when we hit zero on your 
timeline we will get this really awesome animation all right now it's time to also add some lines here in our scene uh hit g on your keyboard or grab here pen tool all right just draw a line like this move it here to the center we will name it line 01 open this little triangle go add and then wiggle paths and when you hit zero we will get something like this for stroke this is red color but we can change it we can change it maybe something like this this blue one all right uh, Control plus d to duplicate it hit v on your keyboard move it to the left something like this okay oops we haven't changed this fill color something like this okay hit okay also we will leave it the red uh, line two and line three awesome really awesome uh, also what we can do is to invert this path for this uh, our second text hit w on your keyboard and find this uh, motion tile center this keyframe uh, first keyframe hit k on your keyboard to jump on second keyframe and type here 100 and uh, one, 1500 okay and when we hit zero we will get this really really awesome animation all right also what we can do is to pre-compose this text 01 and text 02 right click choose them uh, both and then pre-compose we will name it text hit ok and also this points plus animation uh, control plus d to duplicate it we will call it matte import here in our timeline and this second text will use as a mat here for our text go here and then just hit luma inverted okay and when we hit zero we will get this really really awesome animation also for the end what we can do is to add another adjustment layer a right click and then choose uh, adjustment layer and uh, find effect spotlight okay something like this maybe from here to here something like this edge softness maybe around 100 height something like this cone angle okay Play around with this um, spotlight and also as you can see this is really really uh, awesome scene spotlight we will rename it also hit t on your keyboard if you want to lower opacity maybe around 80 percent and when we hit zero we will get this really really awesome animation all right guys i want to thank you again for watching this tutorial uh, hit that subscribe button if you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel turn on this also uh, bell button so you can always get notified whenever i post a new clip uh, if you have some comments or suggestions write me in the comment section below uh, take a look on my profile on my channel for even more great tutorials and I, until next time see you and bye bye